Hey everybody, it is Crypto Quantum Mental, and today we're going to be talking about OBV or on balance volume. It's one of my favorite volume indicators because of its simplicity. It goes well with many other indicators as a confirmation signal. And today I'm going to teach you how you can utilize it in your trading systems as well as how you can actually calculate it. Once you learn how to calculate it, you will really understand this indicator and what it can actually do for you. So let's jump right in with the background of OBV. It was developed by Joseph Granville in 1963. Like I mentioned before, it complements other indicators very well, especially price momentum indicators. It can help confirm trends, spot changing sentiment, and inflection points. Uh, Joe Granville developed it in this book called New Key to Stock Market Profits. He believed that volume uh, changes preceded price changes, which in some cases is true, in some cases it's not, but it certainly uh, was a nice new tool for all of us to put into our tool belt. So it's really easy to calculate, and its simplicity has some pros and cons, but here is how you do it. First off, you need to set it up. You've got to determine your period, whether you're looking at hours, days, weeks, uh, minutes, or whatever it is. You have to pick a start date, which generally is going to be the left side of your chart. But if you're doing it by hand, you have to pick a start date. And then you could start the OBV, the first value for the first day at zero. Then from there, after every close, you have to determine if the price went up or down. So if the close is greater than yesterday's close, then you're simply adding the volume of that day or that period to the last OBV. If the close is lower than the last close or the price went down, then you're subtracting the period volume from the last OBV. It is that simple. So you're basically taking the, the on balance volume from the previous day and you're either adding or subtracting the current period's volume based upon whether the price went up or down. And then you can end up plotting it very much like this. It's simply a line. The reality is the values don't really matter as much. You're looking at trends and things like that that I'll jump into. So how do you actually trade with OBV or on balance volume? Uh, one is to help confirm trend or trend reversals. Uh, here, I have two charts here. And I just want to give a shout out to stockcharts.com. They have some fantastic examples here that I uh, took. So uh, definitely check them out. They do a great job. Uh, so here you have BBY on the left and AutoZone on the right. In both cases, OBV is moving in the same direction as price confirming the trend. And if you look at Best Buy at the very top, OBV has the same peak as the price does. They're, it's basically confirming the trend reversal. So it's a, a pretty powerful in terms of confirming trend or trend reversals. Here though, it's a confirmation signal. It's not a standalone, but if you're looking at price or moving averages or something like that, you can combine it with OBV and confirm that trend or trend reversal. The next way you can utilize OBV is to identify accumulation or distribution periods. So here's another example of TXN or Texas Instruments. It is in a trading range from about uh, mid-November through April uh, 2008 through 2009. And you can see the OBV at the very bottom during that exact same time frame is moving higher. So what does this actually mean? This means that volume is greater on the up days than the down days because it's in a range, price isn't really changing. However, people are buying up on the up and the volume's not as great on the down days. And this is bullish accumulation. So this would be a, a buy signal. Again, I would generally use it as confirmation, but this would give me some bullish feeling when you get into say March, you can see the, uh, the drop in price in March, or you can also see the 
positive trend in OBV, I'd be very bullish based upon that alone. But then I try to combine it with some other indicator to give me another confirmation signal. Okay, and what about inflection points or changing of, uh, of trend or reversals, however you'd like to call it. And you can do that via divergences of OBV. Here we have Starbucks and it's displaying a bullish divergence. So the price is making a lower low in about uh, from mid-June to mid-July, but OBV is making a higher low. This was called a bullish divergence. It's a sign of a potential reversal. And over here, we have MDT, and this is showing a bearish divergence, just the opposite, where uh, price is making a higher high and a higher low, and OBV is doing the opposite, making a lower high. This would be a sign of a potential uh, future downswing. All right, so what about some criticisms with OBV? If you've watched a lot of my TA videos, I like to talk about the pros and cons because no indicator is perfect. Uh, OBV is, is certainly not perfect by any stretch, but it is a good confirmation signal with other indicators. So what are some problems with OBV? Uh, one, large volume days can impact OBV for a while. Uh, days with minimal price changes can distort OBV, especially if you have quite a few days in a row with small changes in the same direction uh, because you're adding volume all the volume is assigned to either up or down based upon the price change but the reality is a small price change uh, it's not all bullish volume or bearish volume if it's small price change it's very neutral volume so uh, obv does a pretty poor job in capturing that because it assigns uh, all or nothing And lastly, let's jump into how to calculate on balance volume. I showed you guys uh, the basic formula earlier. It's really easy, so we can crank right through this. Uh, here's the link for the Google Sheet if you guys want to get your hands dirty and calculate it yourself. I certainly recommend it because it will help you understand it and trade with it a bit better. You know, As always, do your own research. Uh, you know, This isn't financial advice, just informational purposes. You know, trading involves a lot of risk, which is exactly why I try to utilize multiple indicators. This Google Sheet link will also be in the description of the video. And lastly, uh, I gave them a shout out earlier, but definitely check out Stock Charts. Uh, I utilized a lot of their charts here, so uh, they give a lot of good information. So let's jump into the Google Sheet. So here you guys go. Uh, column A is simply periods. Again, it could be minutes, hours, days, months, doesn't matter. We're starting with you know period. Yep, sorry about that. Uh, which is period one, you have a closing price, your volume, and OBV here is starting at zero. Technically, you can start OBV at any number you want uh, because the value isn't that important. Then the volume to see it goes down, so uh, price. We have almost a thousand periods here. So the first OBV, I'll walk through the formula here. Again, I probably made this a bit more complex formula than it needs to be. But basically we are saying if the price is lower than the previous day, then you need to subtract this number, this 1244, 12,444 from zero, which is exactly what we do. And then here we're saying if the price is greater, in this case it is greater, then take this 12,698 and add it back to this uh, minus 12,444, which is exactly what we do. And we just continue to pull this all the way down. And to kind of give you some help on the formula here, I'll just walk right through it. So if uh, the current price is greater than last price or last period's price, then simply add the uh, current volume and the OBV together. And then if the current price is less than the price yesterday, then subtract it as I mentioned. And if neither are true, and the only way neither could be true is if the closing price is exactly equal. And if they are equal, then the OBV remains unchanged. 
All right, guys, uh, that wraps up my OBV video. I certainly appreciate you guys joining me today. Uh, if you like this video, uh, you know, follow me here on YouTube and definitely follow me on Twitter at CryptoQF. You know, comment on this video, like it, ask questions. I definitely like interacting with you guys. So uh, hopefully you can utilize OBV in your trading, combine it with other indicators, and hopefully it brings you some good success. Definitely, uh, you know, recognize you know, trading has risk. So be cautious and trade safe. Thanks again, and I appreciate your time.